All right. How long was I talking? It is kind of windy out. I don't know if a, uh, I don't know, an internet pole fell over. Uh, I don't know how anything works. Pretty sure that's not a thing. Now I feel weird as if, <laughs> don't talk too much or the internet will go down. Using up too many internets. I assume I was probably gone for longer than I think that I was. Make him look at us. Any side fluff? No. And if you have ever lived below anybody... Thanks, Clyde! Um... You'll know that, uh... The only job of people who live above you is to constantly... You, uh, uh, uh... Constantly move furniture for no reason whatsoever. Voxney! Been a while! Oh, I was just working on more Skeletors. Oh, he's not in this room. Uh, but yeah, if you follow my Instagram, it's at, at Mr. Cartoons. Um, and my YouTube. Uh, all the links are in my uh, Instagram. But uh, lately I've been working on this new thing that I'm calling Skeletor's House. Where I got some miniature stuff and I made like a purple cave. And, uh, and, I, and I took the new uh, Master of the Universe uh, Origins toys that are that are like the toys from my childhood where I was like oh, I can finally I can afford now to buy the toys I couldn't get when I was a kid and uh, uh, um, I, I still usually share it on, on Twitter as well so, so no worries um, and uh, and yeah I did some slight modifications to Skeletor I jammed some magnets up in his feet which there's a video of that and, and over the past few days, I took two Skeletor heads, chopped one, uh, his jaw, his lower jaw out, and then took another head and chopped a lower jaw out of that and painstakingly made it so he can have like a working jaw now. Uh, so that when I animate him, I can just move his jaw up and down instead of uh, uh, um, replacing heads. Uh, because the heads don't quite match up. His, his smiling face and his angry face are pretty good, but every time he opens his mouth... His, uh, his hood doesn't go all the way, so it kind of like has a big pop and, and the wrinkles are different. So, uh, for a slight bit of uniformity. But I'm not very good at sculpting or, or building things. Uh, so, um, so it's as good as it gets, but I'm pretty happy with it. I like doing my Skeletor voice. Uh, and, and yeah, so he's got like a little furniture that he sits on. So far, uh, uh, Panthor came in 
and uh, and wanted to play ball, and Skeletor wanted none of that. He was busy drinking miniature wine that I got from from the uh, 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 Michael's uh, store. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to give this guy a hat. Uh, so we gotta have one of these big deals. Ears out somewhere. I'll put the ears back on later. What shall we do today? What shall we do today? What shall we do today? What shall we do? Start a new adventure by jumping on the bed. I'll call Mr. Something. That's uh, part of the theme song from Pippi Longstocking, a terrible cartoon from when I was a kid that uh, I usually heard part of the theme song and then watched anything else that was on the other channel of the two television channels that were available. Why didn't you just see what was on the internet? The internet is so full of things to check all the day and all the time. Uh, the internet wasn't a thing back then, Kev. Uh, you you wildly didn't exist. None of this was possible. And uh, and yeah, I had two channels. Usually one was news. That guy's name? Wilder Game Gamer. Wilder Gamer? XX Wilder Gamer XX. Uh, as soon as I get a chance, I will find your file again. And uh, if you're watching right now, um, and yeah, I'll, I'll export some, some still images for you to use uh, for merch and whatnot. Part of me thinks I already did it though, and, and maybe I just didn't send it to you. And Corbin, if you get a quick chance, change that robot notation to, say, Streamlabs Desktop. You need help with your Streamlabs Desktop under the Discord channel. Alright, let's clean this up. Oh wait, let me, let me, before I start going, let me try to incorporate uh, uh, the name, this one. What was his name again? Random Lord. The Lord of Randomness. I shall strike down with random vengeance. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, but in a more random way. Um, R A N D O M L O R D. Pick a font, pick a font. The hardest part of my day is picking fonts, and I'm not good at drawing letters. Not even gonna lie about it. Not good at drawing letters. <laughs> well, Random Lord is is the name of the the Twitter account. Who knows uh, what the cat's name is? They they don't have it uh, listed here. It's just it's just a photo of his actual cat in a real nice chair. I really like that chair. I really want that chair. Um, go back to the top. So it is, uh, I'll give it a, you know, like a 0.4% possibility that this cat's name might actually be Borky. It's 
Spice Weasel. Hey, that's a good name. That is a good name. Squeeze. Oh, there's a lot of requests. Um, just kind of randomly picking some. And here's a fun fact. If you do follow me personally, uh, outside of, of the Streamlabs fun, um, I'm not giving you free stuff <laughs> on my own time. <laughs> uh, every once in a while, people are like, Hey, I saw you on the thing. Now do something for me. Like, yeah, I, I spend all the rest of my time modifying Skeletors and doing stop motion. And uh, fun fact about stop motion, it takes all of the time. Uh, last week, uh, or two weeks ago, uh, I spent so much of my week after work uh, chopping away at thick, like, industrial foam, because that's what I had, uh, making Skeletor's, uh, uh, um, whatchamacallit, um, living room, uh, lair, if you will. Oh, I'm so addicted to the impact font. I know everyone hates it. Need it. Ooh, I kind of like this one. Low res. Crank this up. Yeah, let's try something like this. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna cut it. Worked with a clean layer. Paste it. And I think all this orange is. Go with the orange cat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I destroyed. Thankfully, I've got a handful. Of, I searched forever, like just going to the store. They re-released the 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 the, the He-Man toys, and there were fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars, like wow! So many good toys are like minimum thirty dollars these days, and I'm a very cheap person. Um, and uh, 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 by the time I got around to them, like they're just just wiped clean from everywhere. Like, I literally drove for an hour thinking maybe, and I just couldn't find a Skeletor or a He-Man uh, or an Orko or a Trap Jaw, which were the main ones I wanted. Uh, so I ordered an Orko for way too much money. Got the Orko, and he's great. Uh, he'll be hanging out with Skeletor eventually. Um, and uh, and then I ordered uh, battle, battle Damage Skeletor and Regular Skeletor. Battle Damage He-Man, regular He-Man, which gave me extra hands and extra heads for which to animate. Um, and then my brother was like, eh? Check it out, I got you this Battle Damage Skeletor for Christmas and Panthor. And I was like, I'm not buying Panthor. I'm not spending money on more of these things. The shelf was already full, this is crazy. And uh, But then I got Panthor and I was very happy, so happy. Oh man. Uh, when I was a kid, I had Panthor, I didn't have, uh, I don't even think I had He-Man. I think I just had a bad battle damage Skeletor, a Moss Man that I lost in a tree, thanks to his camouflagedness. And I feel like there was a... Oh, no, I did not miss that. So it, it killed me. It really, really killed me to, to chop into... Uh, um, uh, so many of these Skeletors, because I'm like, I still have a bunch of Skeletor bodies, uh, but I want to animate them so bad, and that was the reason for it, but I literally sat there with it on the coffee table. Excuse me, and my Dremel tool. Ready to chop them to pieces, uh, and just really not wanting to. Um, want, wanting to keep it pristine, but I'm not a keep it in the box kind of person. I want to take it out. I need to play with it. I need to see it move. Literally went home for Christmas and my brother gave me the Skeletor and, and, and uh, uh, Panthor and I gave my brother this like very expensive, very huge uh, uh, dump truck Lego Technic set which was like 4,000 pieces and he immediately was digging away at it and I pulled out Panthor and I immediately took out my phone and did a quick little stop motion of him uh, looking around and my mom was just like you guys are like full on adults now. Should I have been getting you guys toys? Like, yeah, yeah. If not art supplies, at least toys. Have you not met us? Uh, I'm, I'm, every year we usually get each other a Lego set. And uh, and this year actually he got me the, the Batman mask that kind of sits on a thing. I still haven't put that together yet because they're supposed to replace the windows in my building or in my apartment. They did every other uh, 
window in the building except my place. Um, so everything in my place is displaced, jammed up in, in a storage closet, or in a bin, or in a basket. Uh, um. Oh, and then they also, Spice Weasel, they have the light kits. I was going to get them that as well. But it's this giant, like, I mean, I I, there's not even enough room on the screen. It's, where's the other hand? It's like easily this big uh, of, of a dump truck. And, uh, 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 it's, it's remote for his phone. It's got all these motors and gears and it switches gears and, oh my god, it's amazing. He just lost his mind putting it together. And we just sat there watching him lose his mind until it was like, uh, we were all sitting there watching Forrest Gump for Christmas. And, uh, and he's just, like, getting way too tired and frustrated to, to put this thing together. The book is, like, just, you know, uh, is the phone book thick? That's not a thing anymore. Uh, but it's just super thick. Thick as a, thick as a Lord of the Rings. Um. Yeah, let's go with this thing. Um. So even with all of those extra, uh, Skeletor heads, still just destroyed me to sit there and actively just destroy it. Like, one of the heads is just beyond mangled. And the other one is just missing a lower jaw. And yeah, separated that out. Put some little pieces of wire in there and tried to connect that in. And I'll be honest, uh, I, like I said before, I'm not good at real life things. So it's just barely on there. But it's it's more than, um, uh, uh, more than acceptable. You realize you're getting quite louder the more excited you get about talking about the Hemax. I mean, it's... Very evident to me, I don't know if anyone else is aware, but once you get into something, you just get louder and louder until you finish making your point, and then you feel weird about it. Yep, that's true, Kev. Super true. But yeah, I've got no space for any of this stuff. I, I just uh, reorganized my shelves, uh, and I got this little uh, shelf organizer thing at the store. That's like uh, basically a set of stairs for your spices, I think. Where I'm like, ooh, this will be perfect. Kevin! Um, uh, to, um, put everybody on there, cause, cause I, I ended up getting Battle Cat. He was on sale, so how could I not? I've got Prince Adam. Always wanted a Prince Adam and his little pink vest when I was a kid. But, uh, you know, I was a kid in the 80s and 90s, and there's just no way I can be like, Please, Mom, can I have the muscly man in a little pink vest and a very tight shirt? Don't think anything weird about it. Everything's fine, Mom. And then of course she's like, "Why? Why are you doing that weird accent?" And I'm like, "I don't. I don't know. I don't know." Um, but always wanted a Prince Adam. Still can't get my. Still haven't found a Tila. I've got Evil Lynn. So good. Strat Stratos. Haven't found him. Really want Stratos. Didn't find uh, uh, Trapja. Really want a Trapja. Man at Arms. Don't really care too much. Uh, the, the new Revelations Man at Arms is pretty awesome, so I got that one, and I got the Revelations Skeletor, and the Revelations He-Man, and, uh, I think they're great, but they're also kind of, like, awkwardly proportioned. So I was very excited to animate them, but they're, they're a little bit weird. They're just a little bit weird. <laughs> Good boy, Kevin. Good boy. No, how do you... Ugh, almost. And pets for Kevin, because he's doing okay. He says the things that he should not say. He's gonna make me feel good and feel bad, pointing out reasons why I'm... talking too gladly. And uh, anyway, yeah, so they're normally on the shelf there, but everything is all packed away. So I'm just in my head now. I'm now mentally uh, reminiscing about the He-Mans that I, that I have. Un Unrad? I like that. Hey, Kevin, don't be Unrad. You're not my dad. <laughs> oh, snaps. All right, let's just make this a big fluff. Whoa. 
too much detail on the hat because I do have to come back and make it platy. Yeah, Stratos I definitely wanted when I was a kid. Even though, again, he doesn't make any sense with his little, weird little bit of feathers. But I guess he has a jetpack. Um, but Zodak. I always thought Zodak looked amazing when I was a kid. Um, in my head, uh, speaking of Unrad, I think that he's supposed to sound like uh, Norinrad. Like the, the Silver Surfer. I'm using... Metro Freefall. Uh, I'm using a magical pen and uh, a, a Hueon 16-inch Canvas Pro tablet. And it's pretty great. I've only ever uh, tried a Cintiq once. That was way back in the days when... Uh, Really, we just weren't ready for it yet. I mean, I wasn't. There was just, there was definitely a lag, and the glass was like 12 inches thick, so it felt like your pen was was so far from the line that you were drawing, or I'm just like, no, nope, no thanks. No thanks. And then one day, uh, my friend Mike was like, have you seen the iPad Pro, and I was like, Mike, you know I'm still working on this this iPad that you gave me free because I, I worked for him at the time, uh, so it technically wasn't mine, it was the company's, but then the company shut down, so then it was mine. But uh, within the time that I was given uh, this iPad to test the games, the, the mobile games we were developing on it, uh, it, it wasn't even good enough to play the things that we were making ourselves, and I was just like, what? And the programmers in the studio would make fun of me for trying to do things on the iPotato. And I'm like, guys, but I've got this cool red case for it. It looks so cool and fast. Could uh, keep an eye on whether or not I'm drifting into the red over here. What if I turn this down slightly so it's not like I'm screaming at everyone? What if I do that? What if I... What if I indeed... Hey, you know what's trending? It's Elton John's birthday today. It's Elton John's birthday today. Hmm. Rough. Yeah. So I grabbed Stratos from the store. <laughs> when I saw him and then I never had merman never had merman uh and then not only not only did the weird uh stink or merman come out and I grabbed him real quick like wow I can't believe I'm fulfilling little Curtis's dreams by having merman um didn't get stink or though didn't see a stink or um, but then they released these L L LLP, the Lords of Power version, which I've never heard of. I, I don't know what, what the deal is, but the LLP Merman is awesome. Like, just awesome. He actually looks like his own character. And so these are two completely different legs. Um, so I grabbed two of them. I mean, I grabbed two of them. I grabbed one of each. So I've got two different Mermans on my, on my shelf. And then, uh... Fisto was there, and I'm like, Pfft. never cared about Fisto, never really cared about Fisto, but they didn't have, you know, any of the other characters I wanted, so I picked up Fisto. Um, still to this day, I, I just can't, if I even go anywhere near that part of town, I'm going to the store to see see what see what He-Man characters they've got going on. Got the sky sled, because that's the only way you're going to get uh, a Prince Adam in his little pink vest. You got to get the sky sled, and you better believe, definitely wanted a sky sled when I was a kid. Toby Roz, the Byras, the Byras, the Byros? Toby Roz. 
reading is fun. Um, and a Hordak. Toby Raz, awesome. Uh, they did have, I did keep seeing, I kind of regret not getting it, but they did have the, the Princess of Power, i.e. She-Ra, and, uh, and she sucks. She really, really sucks. It just looks bad, and I was just like, I'm even at $14, I'm just not. I was like, you just, not, ugh. It's weird, it's a weird figure. Even though I, 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 I want it. I want a She-Ra figure, but not that one, but not that one. Um, but yeah, love, love to find a Tila. I don't want to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on getting these $14 characters on, on eBay and whatnot, because some of them are reselling pretty expansively. Could you maybe stop talking about He-Man for, I don't know, nine minutes of your life? Is that at all possible? Not really, Kev. Not really. I wish I could sometimes, but uh, I'll do my best. Let's talk about drawing cats. Cats. Witchy gamer. Hmm. I'm good. This is this is literally, even though you know my normal uh, uh, daily activities at my job are to make logos and and, and emotes and stuff for people. Um, the days when Ethan says, "Hey, hey, you weirdo," he doesn't call me a weirdo, but hey, weirdo. Um, would you would you be interested in once again going live and uh and and making stuff for people just randomly for for you know the fun of giving stuff away and no matter what kind if I'm in a bad mood if I'm in a sad mood if I'm tired and if I don't care about anything anymore uh I'm still just like yeah oh my god I know that I know that I'm going to be wicked exhausted at the end of today, and uh, and it's going to be one of those good exhaustions where hey, I, I accomplished something, and I had fun doing it. I don't know why. I don't know. This this cat, he, he's not enjoying this hat in the picture. I'm just going to make him not super happy. See how that flows. Color we haven't used. Here we go. But normally, the other reason this part is fun is because I just make something and send it away. Uh, whoever gets it, they either, they either don't like it or they do. Um... And uh, at that point, I don't care anymore, and that's great. It's it's great to give things away. Just you know, to just uh, uh, um, uh, uh, I can't think of the analogy that I am thinking of. Um, but just just to be able to like mic drop, if you will, the art like that's what you get. I did it. I did it just for you. Uh, I followed your instructions as best I could. And, and I don't I don't really have to follow up on this, and it doesn't have to keep me awake at night. Whereas my normal job is, hey, uh, you drew this for me, okay? Um, can you can you draw something different instead? I'm like, oh, yeah, of course I can. That's my job. But sometimes I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? 
That's literally the greatest thing I've ever drawn in my whole life. I can't even actually remember what yours was, Voxny. Was yours... Yours wasn't the fox. Was it an owl? No. No. Hippopotamus? <laughs> mm. uh, hola, Toby Ross. Uh, Homa esta? That's all I can remember. <laughs> no hable espanol. Uh, un petit peu en français. <laughs> oh wait, actually, we won't shade this part yet. Uh, all right, let's let's hide the rough. I wonder if this cat has white belly. Hard to tell. A white tail action. I didn't? Oh, I thought I did. You're just one of the good ones that hangs out anyway, even though I've ignored <laughs> your requests for things. Uh, I'm gonna have to center his mouth a little bit. Put a few more stripes in here. I guess he's all stripey all the way down. Oh, looks like we made a hole over here. Let's fix that. Oh, that's too orange. There we go. Milo orange. No! I sampled instead of filled. I literally don't know what that means, but yeah. Some of the fine, fine people from my stream lab are, uh, are moderating and watching along uh, to make sure, uh, you know, People don't go, people don't go nuts. <laughs> Excuse me. I am the only one with the long winded messages. Oh, nice. All right, I was, I saw this one and, uh, and I was like, ooh, this, this kind of feels like a challenge. Like, how, how dare you suggest such an audacious logo? And, and I was like, I think I might do that one. And Clyde grabbed it first. 
Uh, I don't know if I just go to my downloads folder. And in theory, there we go. Uh, this is a logo that Clyde finished up for Catboy. Uh, uh, it's a cheeseburger with the sparklers riding a, a, a shark through a flaming uh, hoop. And, uh, oh man. I mean, everyone's got some crazy fun ideas, right? Got a nice little bit of uh, uh, shine on the shark from the fire. And oh man, is that is that hamburger, is that cheeseburger not having the greatest time in the world? So is the shark, everybody there. We've had the times of our lives riding sharks through fire. Um, oh, there we go. My little taskbar wouldn't go away. And that's our job. That's our gift. That's our curse. That's what we do. <laughs> For better or for worse. All right, you know what? Oh, take this. Take this. Why do you keep cutting through? He yelled in vain at a computer who did not care. Hey, JB! Speaking of JBs, when I was a kid, uh, there was this guy, he was like, I don't know, he was related to me somehow, uh, but it was like my cousin's grandfather or whatever, but we all went camping in the same place, and they had built this, just this big deck on this little tiny cabin, and you know, we were just little kids, and I don't remember to this day if it was me or my brother, but I think it might have been my brother. Uh, was driving his little bike with little little uh, 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 training wheels. Uh, I'm using uh, Adobe Animate, JB. And uh, JB clearly just didn't enjoy having kids touching his stuff, which I fully related to. I didn't... I'm the same kind of person. Um, I, 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 I managed to get my hands on, back in the day, a... Uh, 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 a NECA Ninja Turtle toy, the ones that are based on the old comic book. And now they're worth so much money. And I just let kids play with it. And they destroyed it. They destroyed it. Um, so anyway, uh, my brother was on, on his little bike on this deck. And, uh, and JB... Uh, um was like not on my new deck and and he he was like get off the bike and my brother got off the bike and he picked up the bike which is just a little bike and he threw it he just fully tossed it yeeted it if you will into the woods into the legitimate forest that not only went into the forest then it kind of went down into like a ravine ish area which you could still walk down but it was just like Father, JB has thrown my bike into the forest. What shall I do? Stay out of JB's way. Like, I didn't know it. You brought us here camping so that we can have fun camping. And now it's just like, go over there and play. Like, ugh. Parents were different back then. Parents were very different back then. <laughs> oh, I don't think that you are. I don't think you don't come across as a 70 year old cranky man <laughs> Screaming get off my step <laughs> That's small children. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this muzzle not enjoying it at all
Yeah, let's go keep it white and simple. Keep it simple, silly. Now I'm using a mouse like a crazy person to set up a magic pen. Enjoy your soccer match. Have a wonderful Friday. Oh, what's thank you? Uh, or Vores, please end thank you. Anyway. I don't live too far from the fire station and the police station, so uh, there's always sirens, but they're usually ambulances, because I also live pretty close to uh, thick old people. Gracias, yes, that is right. Muchos gracias. Por favor. Something so far. Now. Danada. That means no problem. This part shouldn't be black. This. Lucky Crowley, Lucky Crowley? No, I'm not the maker of Streamlabs. <laughs> I just work in the creative department. And funnily enough, funnily enough, like a funnel. Um, I, I, I personally uh, don't really know much about robots, uh, but there are some people uh, um, uh, keeping an eye on things and moderating. Uh, but when I do personally stream, 
uh, yeah, I guess it's pretty much just up to the robot to uh, look for, for a few things. Mostly does a pretty pretty decent job. Um, oh, sweet poop. What was that? Oh, yes, gremlins. So, back when I worked in making uh, cartoons for children's Canadian television. Um, Canadian children's television? That's a better way to say that. Um, I shared an office. Uh, it was me and Scott and uh, 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 Mark Camaro. And that wasn't his name, but his last name was almost close enough to Camaro that when he would come in and sit down, I'd be like, hey, Mark Camaro. And I just called him Mark Camaro forever. And he loved it. He seemingly loved it. Uh, and then I believe the next step in that story was, ah, oh, dancing cat butts. Um, uh, uh, um, Secret Santa? I'm going to assume it was a Secret Santa thing. And somebody got Mark Camaro a calendar for above his desk that was a bunch of cars. And that spawned... Um, the, the necessity, if you will. Uh, oh, wolf butts, sorry. Um, to uh, basically give everybody in that office uh, car nicknames. So instead of just, so along with Mark Camaro, uh, they flip through the calendar and there's a, there used to be a car called the Laser. Um, don't know who made it. Uh, it was definitely a weird little little car, and uh, and Scott became Laser, and we did for the most part use those names. Uh, Scott was Scott was Laser for a long time. Uh, I think Tom might even still call him Laser if, if he runs into him uh, in everyday life. I haven't seen Laser in a long long time, uh, but absolutely uh, one of my favorite people to have shared an office with. His style is amazing. He was our character designer. Ah, oh, Kevin, I'm talking. And he was uh, super good. And, uh, AKA Jaywalker. Yeah, sometimes we stream. Uh, and then in flipping through this calendar of cars, it was deemed unequivocally uh, uh, that, well, Curtis is obviously a uh, gremlin. And from now on, you will be Gremlin. And I, I kind of didn't like it, because, you know, the Gremlin was notoriously just a garbagey car. Like, the only other worst name would have been, uh, uh, oh, who made that car? The Firefly, which was just an awful, awful thing. Or K-Car, but they settled on Gremlin. So for literally years, like several years, uh, a handful of people called me Gremlin. Sometimes, you know, notations would come to me that would say Gremlin instead of my name. And and I was fine with that because um, I've, you know, I've had a lot of names that people stuck to. Exactly. Exactly. For like three weeks in high school, um, oh snaps, I see what I did there. Um, I, I, I was, I guess I was out sick for like a day, I think. I just wasn't at school for a day. And, um, I don't even know how this happened. It's just weird. My friends are weird. Um, but, um, they decided to replace me. They decided that I wasn't fun enough. I wasn't Curtis enough. So... Um, uh, uh, this one guy, he drew, uh, basically this, he had a piece of paper that folded into like four different images so you could switch it to whatever you needed. It's a good story, Kevin, play, seriously. And, um, on one page was like a, a happy Curtis, on one was sad Curtis, on one was like creepy Curtis, and, and some other one that I think was just like still like overtly happy. Um... And they replaced me. They replaced me. They were just like, oh, sorry. Uh, you're not Curtis anymore. Which I was like, no, but I'm but I am though? Yeah, no. Sorry, dog. 
Like, what? But, but, but who am I then? But who am I? Like, this is Curtis now. And uh, every morning when we got to school, as each of our different buses got there, there was like, in the, in the inside the main lobby, there was like this pole where we would stand. One person would lean against the pole and we'd just basically be in a circle of a handful of people and we would talk about the TV shows or what have you from the night before. So, that's one of them. Uh, Voxney, the, the, all of them. So, so more uh, uh, Sea Dog existed, which which I do like, but I was Sea Boss. Uh, uh, so, but before I got to that name, it was, um, oh. oh, yes, that's how it went. So, um, I was replaced and I was like, well, if I'm not Curtis anymore, then who am I? Uh, and my friend John, I think it was him. No, it was somebody else. It was somebody else at that point. They decided that my name was, uh, uh, Long, Long Island? I'm not sure if it was Long Island Ice Tea or just Long Island. I think they just changed my name to your Long Island from now on. Like, I'm what? I, d I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Can't I just be me? And they said, no, no, you cannot. This is Curtis. This is the Curtis we like. So within that circle, I would get there and genuinely one day was like, I'm just going to go hang out with somebody else, I guess. Because they were, they also shunned me. They were like, no, you're shunned. You're shunned? Like, you guys can't shun me. Like, this is hilarious, but it's also uh, uh, destroying my self-esteem. Because they would stand in the circle and the folded piece of paper was just there. And occasionally they would flip it to another emotion. This is, again, before emoticons were a thing. Uh, the internet and computers were barely a thing. Mostly a computer was, uh, uh Microsoft Encarta. And that's about it. Uh, we had a dictionary. Um, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. So, um... Uh, this is now basically just going on record to the people that I work with. But yeah, so they shunned me, and Curtis took my place. And basically for like three days, I kind of just didn't hang out with my own friends because I was shunned and replaced and and feeling kind of sad and weird about it. <sighs> uh, but now again, hilarious memory. So one day I genuinely wasn't there. Maybe I was too sad to go to school that I just stayed home sick or I was actually sick. And uh, or I just wasn't around. I don't know. Either way. Uh, I, I wasn't there for a bit. And then all of a sudden, uh, Curtis was destroyed. Oh, he also, he also took my locker? Because I shared, I shared a locker with my friend, who was just a, kind of an awful person. Uh, he's like a hero now, he's, he's amazing. But, um, at the time I was just like, is this really happening? And it's like, no, this is, this is Curtis's locker, not yours. You're gonna have to go somewhere else. Like, I still need to get my books. You're ruining my life. So, um, so that went on for a minute. And then Curtis was destroyed. Just fully destroyed. Uh, uh, chocolate leads to my next nickname after this. Uh, because Curtis started, uh, hitting on Bernie's girlfriend. Like... This piece of paper was like trying to touch her leg and stuff and they would like put fake paper Curtis on her lap like oh like what are you gonna do about that Bernie and then Bernie genuinely got upset with it and he murdered fake paper Curtis these are real these are real things that happened in my life um yes I did stand-up comedy once just to tell some of these wacky stories uh so um so, so yeah, that Curtis was murdered and destroyed. And then another day, uh, and I was, I was happy. I got my life back. It was amazing. Paper Curtis was the bane of my existence. Um, so then in the, in the lexicon of nicknames, ah, fluffiness doesn't work. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Yeah, let's leave it like this. Brush. That's too small. So, one day, an announcement comes over the PA system, 
and it says, uh, hey, enter to win. Hey, Rotten Gems. Hey, Rotten Gems. Um, the, a, 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 a contest, a, a, a raffle, a draw is going on. You know, spend whatever it was, $5, $4. Uh, it was, it was too much, whatever it was, on a ticket to win a five pound chocolate bar. And I said out loud to my friends that I spend time with, because, you know, you gotta have friends, but a lot of times your friends are just jerks. <laughs> but, uh, but no, my good friend John, uh, who, who looked out for me a lot, uh, you know, when people were picking on me, because, you know, I'm just a little squirrely guy. Um, uh, I was like, Ugh, like a five pound, five pounds of chocolate, like just chocolate, like, no, I was like, I still want some, some flavoring in there. I was like, I, 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 I you know, when it comes to Easter or whatever, like, I like a, a, a chocolate bunny with rice crisps in it, uh, or even peanuts, or God forbid, uh, uh, whatever is in, whatever that big Turk, uh, Turkish delight jelly is. Um, I know it's a weird old, old man thing, but ever since I was a child, like, oh yeah, give me some of that sweet, sweet. Uh, uh, Turkish delight in my chocolate. And that spawned a, I don't know, several minutes of, um, oh, oh, Mr. Flavor over here. Look who's got to have the flavor. Flavor Flav here has just got to have the flavor. That's who you are. You're Flavor Flav. From now on, you're the Flav. And that one stuck. Like, it stuck. Uh, and why why it stuck was uh, uh, Droppy Toppy and his Pokemon. Um, uh, my friend John went from class to class before me. We weren't in most of the same classes. He would go to classes that he wasn't in. He would get his hands on the uh, uh, attendance cards that the teachers would go through. And he crossed out my name or erased it in the case of some teachers that wrote it in pencil, and wrote The Flav, because that was my name from now on. But when you write The Flav, it's just F-L-V-E. So, for, you know, a few days in a row, I'd go to class and a teacher would be like, um, the, the Flav? Why does this say The Flav? Who's The Flav? And I'd be like, uh, that's me? Why does this say that? I was like, because you don't lock your drawer, I guess, is people are coming in and changing my name. Super sorry about that, but yeah, uh, technically, I I'm the Flav. I'm the Flav. Cut two. I was going to say 20 years later. More than 20 years later. Like 25 years later. 30 years later? Oh god, I'm so old. 20 some years later. Um, oh, I thought that was telling me to refrain from using foul language. Uh, um, like my best friend in the whole world, Amanda, she still says... Flav. Hey, Flav. Hey, Flav, I'm coming to town. You want to have dinner or stop and, and, and have lunch with me and the kids? Uh, um. And, uh, and yeah, it's stuck. I'm still, I'm still the Flav. Uh, to, to two people. Actually, three people in the whole world. Um, but I was also, uh, my other friend, uh, Jason, he didn't like, um, he didn't like the name the Flav. So he started calling me Cboz, C dash B O Z Z, and again for literally like years and years, like 15, 20 years later, he'd be like, "Oh, hey, Cboz, haven't haven't seen you in a while. Like, what's happening?" Um, but yeah, there's there's definitely others that I can't think of now, but um, th those are the two that kind of stuck for a while, and really in no way, uh, fifth. With me at all? <laughs> it's Borky. He's got a Sporky. He's having adventures in his little hat. 
He's a little cat and he's porky. He's not too porky. Give him a little bit of uh, little paw details. Nope. For the black line. And I know this is just me. This is just my flavor because uh, I am the flavor. Um, I, I like that the, the text is barely legible here. I think that that looks cool. Uh, I think that looks super, super fly. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it like that. Wow, three o'clock already. All right. Um, uh, I think it needs to be... needs something again I can't I can't express how much of my day is spent going this isn't good enough I need to make this better uh and, and then then I I usually do or I make it significantly worse and go back to the other thing and go hey turns out I was right the first time uh, helps to be on the right layer A cheek shine just for s and g's a necktie I'm, I'm pretty i'm pretty bad for putting little neckties on my characters <laughs> but uh since this guy is just all about the hat i'm gonna stick with the hat and think oh on that thing again there we go i think we need something in the background need something to pull this together Evo Monkey X, writing some text to say, I never saw this before. Doesn't happen often. But it's cool. But it's cool. Ghost X8. Uh, this is a uh, random lord's cat. I, uh,. I would normally do some more research as well on these things. I would dig through his Instagram and, and his Twitter, uh, find other pictures of the animals. Having these little pics, pics of line. I am working directly, directly? Directly for Streamlabs right now. Speaking of which, I should check my messages to make sure uh, I'm not missing anything. <laughs> um, all right, everything's fine. And I did drop that other logo into the Asana task, Dominic. Uh, Dominic is uh, one of the Streamlabs scientists who will, for the most part, be uh, the one to send these things out to people. Hmm. Right. Rectangle? What do you mean a rectangle? Ooh. I'm liking this rectangle. I work in the creative department. Uh, somewhere, somewhere the robot says something along the lines of uh, go to the Streamlabs Discord. Oh, it does kind of look a bit like the cat part of Cat Dog.
Hmm. Color picking has never been my jam as well. I wonder. I wonder. I can get crazy go nuts. Hmm. <laughs> so many amounts. Yeah, so what do I fit this more to his hat and to the cat? Gray. What do you say? And then I'll take this text. And we will use it to cut a hole in the box, break it apart, let up, oh, select, use my pen. And delete. Now there's technically a stencil cut in there. Yeah, if you need help with help with your desktop, join the Discord server. Discord.gg slash stream. Yeah, I realize I work at Streamlabs, but uh, but the day I held aloft my magic sword of of, uh, of Streamlabs desktop, uh, it's it's just so so you know, conducive to the things that I need. Uh, for example, uh, the 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 remote that allows me to to just have interactions with my characters, um, so that I can talk amongst myself while while I draw things. Uh, you talked about me? I'm still here. I'm just still here on the floor. You have not acknowledged me for like an hour or more, but I'm just, you know, having a great time uh, listening to you say dumb things. Uh, but, you know, you could maybe try sounding intelligent every once in a while. But no, no, tell more dumb stories about how you're uh, replaced by a piece of paper. Why don't, why don't you just do that all the time? Quit it. Work time. You you belong in the other stream. This is This is Kevin's time to shine. And shine I will. Shine like the brightest star in the deepest, darkest regions of space. I'm everywhere. I'm in your face. I've got the rhymes, and I've run out of the rhymes. Get back to the drawing things. Always, Kevin. Always. Uh, his mug is, uh, I think, uh, I believe it's still in my own store. But when when I first started uh, streaming again for like the fourth time uh, a few years ago, I would uh, 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 draw uh, what I would call sexy dinosaurs, and it was like dinosaur heads uh, and and sexy bodies. Like I would just find cool reference pictures. Uh, one was like Tarzan on a tree, but with a pterodactyl head, and then like uh, uh, like the Marilyn Monroe with a velociraptor, or not a lot with a tyrannosaur head and whatnot. Memacute 518. I'm good. Shanny B. And yeah, technically, uh, it's open to all. We're only doing it for a few hours, so uh, Clyde and myself are just drifting through Twitter and Instagram and whatnot um, and, and seeing what people request. And then, uh, then we try to make that thing. Something There's something about this that it just still needs something else. I, wanna, I just want to break it more. That's not the answer. I'm just going to leave it at a rectangle. I'm just going to make it a bit darker. A bit darker. Hmm. 
not animating anything today. That takes way too much time. This is just straight up uh, things that you can put on your uh, merch store merch and earn some revenues. <laughs> uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, I speak too fast, and and I make up words. So, uh, hopefully, you understand enough to have a good time. <laughs> Oh, I know what I should do. Oh, silly. 